Jenny, Jenny, Jenny is here from Monkeys. <laughs> from Monkeys, Monkeys, Monkeys. Hello, Jenny. Good morning. Good morning. Good. How are you? Good. Yeah. I asked about you yesterday. What the heck's Jenny? Uh -huh. I said, I'm coming. I'm That's here. That's what she said. Yes. She had to get all the new loafers and new fall all gear, girl. I'm yeah. like, I'm loving I what I'm seeing. It's so hot outside, but we are like, Stocked and ready for fall. Well, Tomorrow. Getting cool, so yeah. Last week when I was in there, I got two sweaters oh, yeah. because you know I was like, wait, fall is coming. Fall next is here, and honestly, <laughs> like sometimes certain things like that, like if you don't get them now, oh, I know I've learned they're gone. Uh -huh. um, but it's always so fun to transition into a new season, um, especially when there's lots of newness, and I yes. feel like that's where we are this season. Um, I think for a little while we were all kind of living in the same post-COVID, lots of different things going on. Um, so it's really fun to see things kind of come full circle. Um, we can see, you want to start with shoes? Yes. Um, really Cause these shoes. are like, these are okay. different from we're, what we've been we're seeing. We're going back to like the loafer era. Okay. I'm like, I lived this once and I'm going to live it again. Yep. Um, Y'all loafers are the biggest trend for fall in terms of footwear. Um, these are two options that we have in the store. This is on a heel. These are both on a heel. Yes. Um, but we have tons, we have a flat. And it's kind of all about a chunky loafer. It's, okay. There are some sleek loafers, but it's definitely more of the very chunky 90s. loafer. Very 90s. We are very 90s. We're very 70s, kind of like they're uh -huh. mixed two but, together. But notice the, you know, going back and looking at the, it's the penny penny loafer. Yeah. Effect. Well, uh -huh. and I think there's all different takes on it. I love this one. This is that Soft Waves brand that everybody loves that's so comfortable. And they've got this beautiful ornamentation on the buckle. And then even if you look at this really closely, these are two tone different yes. soles. So this is brown. And, and this is black. So well, it's you not. You can walk your, through heavy snow in there. And you want their rubber summer. bottom. And so it's not your just like typical loafer, um, lots of updated takes. And that brings us to another whole trend, which is menswear. Yes. So it is a big trend everywhere. I'll walk over here. You know, I don't I kind of am wanting, like, just, you know, the, the people wear that, just the one blazer. <laughs> you got to have that it's blazer. It's kind of like. I've sexy. always been a blazer girl, and it's one of my favorite trends. And I think the important thing to remember with menswear is not to pair it all together. Okay. Like, it's a little bit too masculine. Like, right. I like taking something really sweet and feminine and then pairing it with it. So, like, my favorite thing to do is, like, take something like this. It's pretty, like, feminine and structured. Yeah. And throw a blazer on. And the cool way to wear a blazer, this one's too small for my shoulders right now, yeah. is just, but like, on I your shoulders. Oh, just put did it I, over. So you don't even put your arms in it. Did I mishear you say the term menswear? Menswear. It's just a men's kind so of. So, like, a blazer. Similar. A Henley collar, a yeah. button down, Striped shirt. a pant. Like we're thinking very yeah. items that are very menswear inspired, yeah. but then put and taking a feminine trend on it. But see, I like the pant, and then you got the loafer with the heels. Right, so. and then you put it with like a cute vegan leather top, which everybody laughs when we say vegan leather, but vegan leather <laughs> is a beautiful way to say pleather. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> vegan leather is a huge trend. You really don't see a lot of leather being used anymore. It's all vegan. Oh, There's nothing um, manly about that. Well, no, but taking something that's got some feminine detailing, Love that. like the puff sleeve, and then putting shirt. with the pant and throwing it with the loafer, and then you can throw a blazer. So looking at making sure when you do a menswear look, it's not all so menswear right. that you lose your femininity. I like too how you said because I'll see a lot of the jackets just kind of on yeah. the shoulders, and it's yeah. like, okay, don't. Just yeah. Go. Well, and the key to that is maybe to go up a size. Um, you know, with yeah. These crossfit cross shoulders. Cross I'm like shoulders. buying the extra large blazer to fit over my shoulders, yeah. which is fine. But you also have to think about how you're styling it. The point of something like that is to be really oversized, so you're not looking maybe to buy your typical size that if you were going to layer it. I always think too when you're playing with a blazer, think about how you're wearing it. So if you're putting something underneath it, like a sweater, going you, up a size to accommodate your arms or how it fits is a really important right. idea. You don't want a big chunk um, sweater and a tight. So then that we talked about vegan leather and there's more of that. These are some great little examples I mean, of this like gold other number? pieces. Are you kidding me? This, this is a beautiful little gold dress by Emily McCarthy. She's actually based out of Savannah, Georgia. Um, you're seeing a lot of this in accordion pleat too, yes. which I really, really love. And this to me is a great like event dress. Uh -huh. um, I'm envisioning wedding or even like date night out, really something yes. special. Um, and then this is another little dress Look we have. That. And it definitely has your little bit of your menswear take. So uh -huh. it's like a button down front, like a button shirt, but in the collar, but it's got your puff sleeves and you got a belt. That's another thing we're seeing a lot these days you is have belting. It's bringing back our waistline. I think also we were living in a very oversized, very printed gar garment era, and we're kind of taking it back to where you could like 
see a women's figure, which I know my husband is thrilled about. I'm sure most <laughs> men are too. He's like, if you wear one more of those dresses that makes you look like you're in a house coat, we're going to have a conversation. Like a you're like, but it's comfy. Yes. It's comfy, um, baby. It's comfy. And then another color palette that we're really digging, and we like to call it our cinnamon color palette. So lots of yes. like browns and purples and tans and cognacs and reds and just kind of like not that black and gray aren't a thing because they are they're always going to be but you're seeing a lot more neutrals being done in the browns colorways. But Jenny, this is where it. I always ask what's the location? We're located at 103A Augusta Street right um, down the street from Gather. Um, we love to help. We've got everything from jeans and a t-shirt to a ball gown and we like to, you know, meet our customer where they are. So yeah. come yeah. in, let us help you, and feel your best. We Monkeys. love it, Jenny. So much fun. Thank you, babe. Love that skirt too. That.